Hi all of you. Welcome to another lecture of uh, nanoelectronics. The topic for discussion today is the single electron transistor and one more topic is there carbon nanotube transistor. Myself Maria Joseph assistant professor in easy department of MBC CT Pyramid leading the session. Welcome to all of you. The first topic is single electron transistor. Single electron transistors are basically three terminal switching devices which can transfer electrons from source to drain one by one. The schematic of set or single electron transistor will be shown in the next slide. Sets are almost the same as that of the MOSFETs. This is the basic structure of a single electron transistor. What is the difference? Sets have a tunneling junctions in place of PN junctions of MOSFETs. That is in place of PN junction, we have two tunnel junctions possible in the case of a single electron transistor compared to that of a MOSFET. So this is the structure. You have to learn this. The device structure. The smallest single electron transistor is composed of a quantum dot connected to two electrodes. One electrode is connected with the quantum dot through the tunneling junction. The other electrode is coupled with quantum dot via insulator through which electron cannot pass by tunneling. Therefore, electrons are injected into or ejected into from the quantum dot through the tunneling junctions. The basic operation of a single electron transistor. If the quantum dot size is sufficiently small and charging energy is much greater than the thermal energy Kt, no electrons tunnel to and fro from the quantum dot. Thus, the electron number in the dot takes a fixed value, Z0, when both electrodes are grounded. That is, if both the electrodes are grounded, then the electron number in the dot takes a fixed value. Suppose it to be 0, or we say it is 0. The charging effect which blocks the injection or ejection of a single charge into or from a quantum dot is called the Coulomb blockade effect. We saw in the last lecture what was a Coulomb blockade effect. Now, what do you mean by this charging energy? That is, the charging energy is represented by Wc, the energy to charge. That is, there is a condition for observing the Coulomb blockade effect. That is, Wc is equal to E square by 2z, where E is the charge of electron, capital C is the capacitance, K is the Boltzmann's constant and T is the temperature. How does an ACT work? Similar to that of a MOS transistor. The channel is replaced by a nano dot here. The dot is separated from the source and drain by the insulators. An electrons tunnel in two steps. Source to dot and then to drain. Single electron transistor. It has got mainly two states of operation. That is one is effectively uh, the blocking state and the other one is the state in which a positive voltage is applied to a gate electrode. What happens in the blocking state? No accessible energy levels with tunneling range of electron on the source contact. That is no accessible energy levels within the tunneling range of electron on the source contact. Look at the second figure. What happens? Energy levels of the island electrode are lower. Okay. Energy levels of the island electrode are lower and the electron 1. So, it can tunnel into the island 2. Occupying the precisely vacant energy level. If there is a vacant energy level, it will move and occupy the space. Then again it can tunnel to the drain electrode 3 where it inelastically scatters and reaches the drain electrode. That is in the first case 
blocking state what happened no accessible energy levels are within tunneling range of the electron all the energy level in the island electrodes with lower energy levels are occupied all are occupied in the in this case what happens from one it moves to the unoccupied states in two then it comes to three where it scatters and finally it reaches the position four the next topic for discussion is the carbon nanotube transistor these are the transistors fabricated with a carbon nanotube as the channel in cn fet a carbon nanotube is placed between two electrodes while a separate gate electrode controls the flow of current in the channel the original structure required cnts to be deposited and located followed by the deposition of electrodes the silicon substrate is used as the gate electrode in a so called back gate configuration such a configuration is called back gate configuration this is the basic structure of a carbon nanotube transistor here you have a source then a gate is there a drain is there gate oxides bulk dielectric then you have a substrate this is the gate oxide then you have a intrinsic region and all these things are present just go through the diagram this is very important you have to learn it okay cnts are graphene strips rolled up into hollow columns or tubes that is what do you mean by graphene what is graphene actually a single layer of carbon sheet in graphite is called as a graphene a single layer of carbon sheet in graphite is called as graphene then nanotubes formed by wrapping a single graphene sheet into itself or to a cylindrical shape is called single walled carbon nanotubes or they are called as swcnts under typical growth conditions may concentric tubes can form and this structure is referred to as multi walled carbon nanotubes so you have to learn this also uh, sometimes a question may come what is swcnt then you have to answer the advantages high single crystallinity implies low defect density predictable electron transport properties and hence a reliable device performance unique properties due to quantum confinement effects which will enhance the device characteristics very small in size and very fast operation extremely high mobility thank you so much for your patient listening love you all